Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this one, I'm going to show some quick and easy tips to speed up any Windows, PC or laptop. So we'll get started. We want to right click on the Start menu, go up to Task Manager, we'll maximise that, and then we'll go along to the tab that says Start Up. Now in here, this shows the programs that start when Windows starts up. You want to disable all of them. You don't need any of them to start up when your PC first boots because it will drastically slow it down. As you can see, I've got all of mine disabled. So we'll move on to the next one. For this next tip, we're going to go to the search icon on the taskbar. We'll type in MS config, hit enter. Then we want to go to the services tab. Then we want to click this box. And in here you will find some programs that can be turned off that won't affect the system. Now everyone's computer will be different. Some people will have more in here, some people will have less. There's a select few in here that do not need to be on, such as my browser maintenance service doesn't need to be on. This one is for my audio. I only need Realtek audio. If you've got two, you only need the one. So I guess you need to have a little bit of knowledge to what your computer's running. So if this one is beyond you a little bit, just ignore it. If you turn any of these off, you will need to click apply and then restart your computer. I suggest you do that every time. Right, we'll go on to the next one. So in this next tip, we will go to start, file explorer. Then you want to find the drive that says Windows. Mine is the C drive. Yours, yours may differ. So in this, we'll open this up. In this, this is a folder where your Windows operating system is located. So generally, this is where Windows is doing a lot of its work. So we want to try and keep this hard drive clear of any other programs. We don't want to install any games in here, any game clients, or have any massive files in here that aren't needed. Because the more space you've got in here for Windows to stretch its legs and do its work, the better. Now, this is a two-parter because some people may only have one hard drive in their PC or laptop. So what we would do in that occasion is we would do a thing called partitioning the drive. So imagine imagine a pie. What we would do is we would cut out a little quarter of the pie, keep it for Windows. Then the rest of it would be, in essence, a separate hard drive on the same physical hard drive. Bear with me. I will explain it in another video. I will show how to partition a drive. It's very, very simple, but it can speed up your PC if you keep this drive clear from any non-essential programs that Windows needs to run. Right, on to the next tip. So for this next tip, we want to go to taskbar again, click search, type in control panel, there we go. Go to programs and features. Now this window shows all the programs that are installed on your PC when you installed them and generally the size. What you want to do is have a close look at all these programs and find some that you don't use anymore, which are taking up valuable space, especially if you've only got one hard drive. So for example, you might have bought a new printer and you've still got the old printer client installed. Definitely uninstall that. So say for example, we click that, we click uninstall up here. So we go through all that stuff. Once the program has been uninstalled, I would always suggest click start and restart the computer, then start fresh. It's the best way to do it. So we'll go on to the next tip. So for this next tip, we want to go down to the taskbar again and we'll right click on start, go up to device manager, maximize that. And we'll click on this icon here, which scans for hardware changes, just so that everything's refreshed. So in here, this is where it gives you the capability to update your drivers. So for example, display adapters for the GPU. You would right click on that, update driver. Then it gives you two options. Either you can install a driver that you've already downloaded from the vendor's website, or you can search online automatically for them. And it's given me that information that mine are okay. But if it's found an update, it will ask you if you want to install it. Do that, then close out restart again. Easy as that. Right, next tip. Now this is a quick tip, but it's very important. So we'll go to start and settings and we'll look for update and security. So this brings up the Windows update 
window. We always want to make sure that we're checking this every single day. Now you can do it automatically, but you lose a little bit of control then because you could be you could be in the middle of doing something and that program may crash because Windows Update is running in the background. What you want to do is do it manually. You can actually turn them off completely, but that's not I wouldn't suggest that personally, but each to their own. So what you would like to do is come in here, Windows Update, check for updates. Let that do its thing. Then it will come back and it will tell you what has been updated. If it's got an update, it will download it, install it, away you go. Simple as that. But very, very important because there's a lot of security updates for Windows Update. So if you keep your operating system running smooth and updated, it will keep your PC running that little bit quicker. So, on to the next one. For this next tip, we're going to talk about antivirus protection. Now, many of you may have McAfee or say Norton Antivirus because a lot of these programs come free with other software or hardware, for example. The program I use is built into Windows and it's called Windows Security. So we'll go to Start, Settings, Update and Security. Then we'll go over here to Windows Security and we'll open this one. So here it shows you the level of protection that you've got. And on the left hand side, it gives you options for all of them. So we'll click on virus and threat protection. I feel this is one of the most important ones because what it does is it lets you scan your PC, which is imperative. So we'll go to scan options. So here it gives us all of our options. So we can either run a quick, full, custom or Microsoft Defender offline scan. Generally what I will do is I'll click custom scan then I'll click scan now, then I will pick which hard drive or which folder I would like to scan. And it does it very, very fast. Now, depending on whether you've got SSD hard drives, NVMe hard drives, it might be a little bit slower. Just depends. But the good thing about Windows Security is it's the least invasive program that I've found helps keep your PC safe. Norton Antivirus, McAfee, these programs do work, they keep your computer protected, I appreciate that, but they slow down your PC enormously. Even if you have a very powerful PC, it will still slow it down. If you want Windows to be streamlined and fast, run Windows Security. So that's my quick and easy tips to speed up any Windows PC or laptop. Um, they're quick, they're easy, but they're important, so I appreciate you watching this video. There will be more videos to come, such as how to partition a hard drive, which seems complicated, but again, is easy and important. So, thanks again. Um, see you on the next one.